What's up, guys? Today we're going to be making our week four NFL predictions. Before we get started, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. We're almost at 300 subscribers. Um, first, we have the Miami Dolphins against the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, very excited for this game. Um, have a further in-depth video on this game, but I think the Dolphins win this game in a high high scoring matchup. Um, Tua and Waddle get their revenge on um, Burrow and Chase uh, losing to them in that um, well known Alabama LSU game, and Tyreek Hill gets his um, revenge against the Bengals after they beat him the Chiefs last year. Then we have the first uh, London game this year. Uh, Vikings against the Saints. Um, excited for this one too. Um, just, just um, it was just reported right now that um, Jameis Winston. Um, it's it's looking like he he might not, he might not play. Um, Taysom Hill, Taysom Hill, might play. Um, Michael Thomas did not practice either. Um, Landry did. Um. We'll see how that how that goes, but I think the Vikings win this one. Um, Saints are kind of banged up, um, like that um, offensive offensive scheme that they have going there. I think they they keep it going. Then we have the the Cleveland Browns against the Falcons. I have I have Cleveland Cleveland winning this one. Um, I just I don't think the the Falcons are going to be able to uh, score as much as they've they have the past the past few weeks. Pretty pretty good defense, um, with with Miles Miles Garrett in that front. Um, but he might he might not play due to um, he got into a car accident. Um, so actually, if if he doesn't play, I have the Falcons winning that one. But if he does play. I'll have the I'll have the Browns, but um, I I don't I don't think he'll play uh just this week. Nothing major, but um, just as a precaution. So I'm actually gonna have to change that and pick the Falcons. Then we have the Commanders against the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I think it's a defensive defensive game. I think Dallas Dallas wins this game. Um, then we have the Seahawks and Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions might not be, might not have DeAndre Swift playing in this one. I still think the Lions win this one, like like their offense. Then we have the a divisional game, the Titans against the Colts. Both teams off to a slow start, cut in the win column last week. Um, I think I think the the Colts win this one, especially that they're at home. Um, Darius Leonard has not played the first few weeks. I believe he's he's coming back. Um, this this week still not not a for sure thing, but I think the Colts win this one. Then the Chicago Bears against the. Uh, New York, New York Giants, um, New York, Chicago Bears haven't had anything really on offense. Um, Justin Fields hasn't hasn't looked good, but at the same time, that's not all his fault. Hasn't given that, um, really given all those opportunities to succeed. Not 18, 13, 18 or thirteen passes. Um, last game really, that's unacceptable especially that he played the whole game um so i think that the giants win this one saquon's been looking good um i think they'll win that one especially at home then we have the jaguars against the eagles excited for this game too um two teams really really want both of them are um kind of surprises to some people um this is this is a very tough one because we saw how how good Jacksonville looked last week, um, and we saw how we've seen how good the Eagles have looked. Um, Eagles are at home. I think 
while I do think this is going to be a close game, I think just being at home, um, the Eagles, the Eagles do do win this game. Um, I think they'll win that game. Then we have the Jets against the Steelers. Um, I think the Jets will will pull this one off. Zach Wilson coming back. Um, offense was looking a bit better. Uh, Gary Wilson playing well. Just don't that offense in Pittsburgh um, hasn't really um, opened many many eyes. Um, a lot of things inside the organization with the offensive coordinator, what the players think. I think just win that one um, in an upset. Then we have the Buffalo Bills against the Baltimore Ravens. Um, Bills coming off a tough, tough loss against Miami. Um, de- depleted, even more depleted after the game. Um, I think. I think the Ravens win this one. I um, think it's gonna be high scoring game though. Both both teams really secondary is depleted. Um, so. I think the Buffalo Bills do have a better receiving core, though. So I think the Bills win this one. Then the, then the Chargers and Texans. Um, Chargers came off a tough loss last week. They're, they are very, very depleted um, as a whole team. J.C. Jackson, Joey Bosa, Keenan Allen, um, Justin Herbert with the ribs. Um, I, I still think they'll win this one. Um, close game, though. I think the Chargers win this game. Then we have the Cardinals and Panthers, two teams that really have struggled um, one and two, but um, teams I thought would play a little better. I think the Cardinals win this one, though. Um, We saw that connection, uh, Kyler Murray and Marquise Brown last week. I think that continues. Um, Another close game, though, I think, but I still do think the Cardinals win this one. Then the Patriots and Packers. Patriots without Mac Jones. We saw that often struggle with him. I think it's going to be worse without him. Have the Packers winning this one. Then we have the Broncos against the Raiders. Two teams that have really that have struggled. Um, Broncos record um, is two and one. You wouldn't be able to tell, but really they've they've struggled on offense. Um, almost. Lo- lost to the Seahawks, almost lost to the Texans, and then barely beating the Niners 11-10. to 10. Um, Offense has struggled. Um, even though the Raiders, um, they've struggled. They have played some better teams. Um, really all three uh, playoff contending teams, even though the Cardinals have struggled out of the gate. But the Chargers, they played the Chargers, the Cardinals, like I said, and the Titans. Um, good teams. Um Maybe not some of those teams, not off to the greatest of starts, but I. those are better teams than the Broncos have played. I think Devontae Adams and Derek Carr um, connect, um, finally get things going, get in the win column. I think the Raiders win this one. Then the Chiefs and Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a 2021 Super Bowl rematch. Um, excited, excited for this one, too. Um, we don't know where this is going to be played, though. It's supposed to be played in Tampa, but um, with the hurricane heading there, um, we don't know. Prayers prayers for everyone affected by the hurricane. Um, definitely um, definitely hope everyone, everyone recovers well, everyone's safe. Um, just prayers for everyone and their families. And then all the, all the re- responders, the... The firefighters, um, everyone, everyone really, really helping, putting their life in danger. Prayers up for them. Um, but, but back to um, the fo- football. Um, I think Tampa Bay offense hasn't really looked great. Um, Chiefs struggled last week. I I do think um, Brady Brady always gets his. His his revenge um always has those big games. I think they haven't really he hasn't looked like the Tom Brady we're used to seeing. I think he does. Um they do win this game. Um 
and and get rolling um as well and then the monday night matchup the rams and 49ers divisional matchup rams did lose uh excuse me 49ers lost Trent williams um i think i think the the rams do win this one um Trent williams is a big um key to that niners offense i think the rams do win this one um so so those are my predictions for week four um a lot of teams that i think will start winning winning games get on the right track um but an exciting week of football so let me know what you guys think and remember to subscribe thank you for watching